Hello and welcome back, dudes and dudettes. This is, of course, one and only Light Liger here, and today we're going to be talking about VeChain for the very first time on the channel. And it's a project that I've been holding a bag on since 2019. I see it as a bit of a dark horse project, as other people do, since they have a lot of institutional partners, a lot of big companies that are working with them and using their blockchain as a service, but they don't necessarily have have that like consumer adaptation and dap adaptation as of right now so I, I think they still have a lot to catch upon in terms of in the blockchain race but I think definitely they are a bit of a dark horse player in the scene and today we're gonna be looking into their first AMM automated market maker uh, service known as VexChain so it's basically based on the Uniswap model people provide liquidity and then people are able to trade on the platform and earn money by providing liquidity to the actual pools and what you need first actually in order to interact with the VEX change is actually a VeChain extension on Chrome it is called Comet and basically what you can do is you can create a new wallet under it or you can import your atomic wallet or exodus private key as I did into the actual thing and it will basically uh, give you um, well a pin code which I'm gonna be adding here right now and now we're gonna be unlocking basically uh, the actual wallet and we have to confirm now that we're gonna be connecting into the VEX exchange and I want to say that the uh, extension is pretty good. The only problem that I see with it is that I don't really see like all my balances for um, the tokens. So it only shows me how much VThor I have, how much VChain I have. But I have no idea on what tokens I actually have. So that is a bit of a feedback to um, the actual uh, comment team if they're watching this video and you can import a private key or key store account and once you have set that up you can basically hop into the actual exchange and VeChain obviously doesn't have like a multitude of million tokens right now so there is a, a limited pool of tokens here at least which are listed obviously you can add any symbol or address here and start trading so obviously everything on the VeChain uh, blockchain happens through VTOR. So I'm going to be training and buying some VTOR first of all to show you kind of how it's done. So because you're going to have to approve the token before you're traded and then you have to swap it. And I'm also going to be showing you the liquidity thing. So um, I'm going to be just putting, let's say, 25. That will do uh, for today. And you're going to be seeing here the slippage, which is very low since people have provided a lot of liquidity for this pairing. And basically, I, I do like VeChain all together. And this is not actually fault of the DAP, but I feel like, you know, the fees on the chain are kind of high for like normal transactions. So um, I don't know if they have type of a sharding technology coming out in the roadmap in the future or something. But yeah, I do feel like, you know, compared to, I mean, it's not Ethereum high fees. This is still like three cents or something, but I still think in a fundamental way that um, everything on who wants to compete with Ethereum has to provide below one cent transactions. That's something as a standard I set for a lot of blockchains. And some people say, well, that's a bit unreasonable. I don't think so. But um, now we have SWAT basically, and we bought some VThor and that's how it's done. And Obviously, you can have any pairings you want. So, for example, we can change it back ways and we can also trade uh, VThor straight into DPED if we want to. But we're going to be using VeChain as the currency here because I want to buy some 8 hours token. And this is a project and a game working on right now on the blockchain. We're going to be buying, let's say, I'm going to be just putting an even number here. So I'm going to be winning 366 into ERT. Um, am I bullish on it? I mean, you know, it's probably one of those succeeding projects in the chain. So that's why I'm going to be getting it. And there's going to be a 77 VTOR cost now, right now. And we're going to be confirming it. And as you saw just the previously, uh, the transaction went pretty fast. And we can actually see them on the actual VChain Explorer. Okay. That one doesn't show up. Let's try to refresh now. Okay. But here is like the account. And you can see, by the way, all your tokens here. Let's see. If it already shows us, okay, we have now EHRT, uh, the eight hours token or something like this, the name. Let's see if we actually have a profile on them. Okay, it, it doesn't show us, well, it doesn't matter. We, we You can look into the project yourself. 
And now we have already now um, done the trade. And now we have some EHRT. And how are exactly we're going to be sending it to the pool. And now, by the way, in case you also want to trade, let's say you want to buy for your friend. And you can copy. Let's imagine this is my address, but let's imagine that this is your friend. So you can buy automatically, trade your VeChain into Hacken AI. I didn't actually know that they're on VeChain. Maybe I didn't. This is my first time hearing about it. But um, no, so I can trade here and the Hacken AI will go to my friend's account. So that is also a nice feature. So how do we actually pull in? So in order to add liquidity, we're going to be choosing the pairs first. So we're going to be adding VeChain and eight hours token. And I'm going to be putting the max amount. We have to unlock it first, obviously, before we can do this. So we're going to be doing another confirmation. And so far, we have spent like, I don't know, 150 VTHOR. That's around 8 cents, I think. And after we have gone through, um, we can now actually provide the liquidity into the pool. And it's requiring this much of VChain because obviously we have to provide the same amount in the both pairs. And there's, this is also another, are these the same? No, these are different uh, actual explorers. So I didn't know there was another one, but um, let's move on. So, and now we're gonna be providing the liquidity. There's gonna be another um, cost there. This one actually costs 142. So a bit of a more expensive type of a thing. And it's gonna be taking once again, a couple of seconds. And then basically we have the liquidity there and we will be gaining from the actual, um, and your pool share is 0.01%. And now when everybody's trading these back and forth, I will be getting divs. I will be getting dividends. So that is very nice. And you can see actually on their main website, all the trading volumes for each of the pairs. So um, half a million VeChain is being traded on basically on the eight hours token. So that is pretty good volume. The safe haven also has pretty good volume. Um, and obviously... I have a player or so as a pretty good one. I have all my player there right now. Uh, I feel like I will be putting them into the dividends. But that's pretty much how easy it is. And then if you want to remove something, um, you can click here and remove liquidity. That's it easy is how it's basically said. Sadly, the pool page doesn't show me right now all the pools that I have currently invested in. And maybe there will be a statistics page to for each individual account and see how much they're basically making. Um, just like um, the Uniswap, for example, has like in here. So that's something that I would probably like to see uh, in the future to track my earnings, how much is the being traded and the liquidity there and the fees earned basically and then some of the graph. But that's something the developer hopefully can add in the future. And that's probably one thing. Probably a Telegram group or something like would be also nice for people to ask questions and stuff like that. But I'm not going to make this review any longer. Obviously, this was a free video, free guide for everybody. And obviously, I would appreciate some types of a tips in VeChain. So I would be incentivized to do more content around VeChain in the future or just found this guide helpful for the community or something like that and you just want to tip me for whatever reason. But um, I bid you farewell. If you have any questions, I try to help you best as I can. But you can also tweet at the official VexChange Twitter account in case you have also some questions. And I also forgot to mention it does come out with a night and dark mode, which is a very nice thing to do. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.